Booking with Angelina. Today I want to show you what you get with the Art Booking Cricut cartridge from Close to My Heart. I am so in love with this new cartridge. It will be released August 1st of 2013. If you'd like to pre-order, um, you can head over to my blog and I will put a link down at the bottom. One of the exciting features about the Art Booking cartridge is that you have the ability to now create whole layouts. And I am going to show you what I did with this one right here. This is page 60. Basically what you can create is a layout with the touch of one button and this is going to be the D button. And here is the sample of the together layout. It says that you put your size setting at 11 inches. And what that means is all of these elements that you will cut out will be set at 11 inches. However, they're going to cut appropriately to create the layout that's here. So I'm going to show you what I've created with this button. Okay, so again, this, I'm going to show you this page and then I'm going to show you my version of this page. Again, this is, comes from page 60. What I did is I cut this out in Honey. I cut this, remember, out in Honey. I cut, this is the uh, photo mat and I cut that out in Lagoon. And I cut out two of these photo frames also in Lagoon. And I cut out the background here from a piece of the B&T duos from the For Always paper pack. So here's the first page. As I mentioned, I, I took, again, the setting was put at 11, and it cut out this beautiful background, then cut out the photo mat. What I'll do is put a five by seven in here. I did not attach this so that I could tuck Oops, the photo underneath there. I sponged all of the edges and then I added a little bit of our glitz in red around here. These actually, when it's cut out, are actually holes. So that's the first page. And again, this was all with one button from the art booking and then that's on button D. And then this is the second page, as you can see. This is right here is their sample. And what I did is I took t these two and rather than butt them up against each other, I separated them. Now I used the negative from when I cut this background out. I used the negative because I didn't want to waste any of the paper. And I put it as my background border here. I put these two frames and this you will believe I put... In this I believe you're going to put in a photo. I think it is a 4x4 four four photo. Uh, no, excuse me, a 3x3 three three photo. I did not seal the tops so that I can slide the pictures in. And uh, once I do that, I can either attach it permanently or I can leave it that way so that I can interchange the pictures. I really love that with the touch of one button, I can create this two-page layout. And there are several, there are several in the entire book. I'm going to show you one other suggestion I guess. Again, using the remember key which is right here on the D and this is a title and to get on this side you would hit the shift button. So I wanted to test out how are these going to cut. I set my size to three inches and this is how it came out. You can see that's definitely not three inches and what this program is is thinking is that the entire layout, the full size of it's going to be only three inches, so it's scaling everything down to fit that three inch layout, whether it's going to be for a um, scrapbook page or for a book page. So this is three inches. Now if I set to real dial size, it prints at three inches, which is what you see here. So you want to really pay attention to that. If you're wanting something to cut a specific size, make sure that you hit the real dial size button. And here's a sample of five inches, and that is not using the real dial size. So five inches would look like this if the entire project was going to be based on a five inch project. I hope that's, I'm explaining that. So again, if you, your project's set at three inches on the dial, it's going to 
cut like this, if it's set at real dial size, you're actually going to get the real dial size of three. Now this one was also cut at the real dial size. This was on the border key. Um, let me show you that. And that's right here. And this was cut at two inches. And then here I clicked on the fit to length. I wanted to see what was the longest that it will it will cut. So here is what it came out with. So um, this is not using a dial size. This is using the fit to length button. So what you do is you press that button and then you press the keys that you're wanting to cut for the for the image that you're wanting to cut, and it'll stretch it out to the length of the page. I hope that's helpful. Now I'm going to show you what else comes with the Cricut cartridge, the art uh, booking cartridge. Of course, just like in all of the Cricut cartridges, you're going to get your direction book. Um, one of the neat things is when you purchase the art booking cartridge from a close to my heart consultant, it's $99. You get this the Cricut cartridge. It comes with up to 700 images, which is more than your standard Cricut cartridge. These are the three stamp sets that are included when you purchase the art booking cartridge. This one's called Take a Note, and it's part of the Cricut bundle. This one is My Life, and this one is Sweet and Lovely. This image, this image, and this can all be cut using this Cricut cartridge. This is a second stamp set, also a D stamp set. Uh, this right here can be cut, the circle of course, let's see, uh, this arrow and these circles. Those all can be, be cut using the Cricut cartridge as well. Really it says you're a star, good times. And then this last stamp set that you will get is uh, also a D size. You can cut this image, this, 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 and this. All of those can be cut using one of the Close to My Heart Cricut cartridges. One of the really neat things about when we have coordinating um, stamp sets that go to one of our Cricut cartridges, right here it'll tell you art booking. If it's for the artiste, it'll tell you artiste. If it's for the art philosophy, those are older stamps. They did not in the beginning put the name of the cartridge, so it's kind of a it defaults to the art philosophy. Here it tells you what page that you are going to go to. So it says page 79. We'll flip over to 79. And it says cut it at three quarters of an inch. So as you can see on page 79, here's your image. So you would be clicking on the title button. Since it's on the right hand side of this panel, you would hit the shift key and then you would hit the buddies key, the BFF key. Um, and that's what you'll see on the template. Now in addition to these three wonderful stamp sets and the Cricut cartridge itself, you are also going to get three sheets of our dimensional elements. And these again are going to coordinate not only with the stamps but with the art booking. Um, cartridge. So you'll be able to cut out uh, these shapes and you can either stamp on them with some of the stamps that coordinate or you can cut out the shape from here on another piece of paper and then attach that to any of these dimensionals. This one is called Snapshots. This one is the signage. It has those little arrows and these arrows, the circles, and it has the hexagons. And then this last one is called Framework. And this again, as I was mentioning, this coordinates with that first stamp set that I showed you. So you could either take this and stamp it onto this inside part of this uh, dimensional element, or you could cut a piece of paper out, stamp onto the paper, and then adhere it. So there's a variety of different ways that you can use these products. I absolutely love it. I think it's a great value. You get a lot for just your $99 plus tax and shipping. It, again, if you're interested in pre-ordering these, as they are not available to order on our websites until August 1st, 2013, you can head over to my blog, which is Paper Crafting with Angelina blogspot.com and just scroll down and you will see 
push your pre-order in and I'll be happy to get those out to you as soon as uh, August 1st comes, which is just in a few days. I hope you found this useful. Thanks so much for visiting. And in the meantime, happy paper crafting.